Hello everybody, and welcome back to me, Dave Pumphouse. We're a minute late, look at that, terrible us. But we had to uh, sort out some, some technical uh, issues. Um, but we're here, we're here now, and uh, welcome welcome to the stream. I, uh, I'm looking forward to, uh, to playing with you all again. It's going to be really fun. Um, <laughs> Uh, right, first things first, can you hear me? If anyone's in the chat. I know there's, there's two people in there already, so you're going to have to tell me, can you hear me? Well, I might be able to check, check myself, actually. Hello, Bill, can you hear me? Am I coming through all right? Am I coming through both ears? Yes, good. Good. Jolly good. We can we can get on with the show. Right. Solid. Am I so I'm actually coming through both ears now. I'm a, I mean, that, that's that's the big question because we know DPS was was uh, critical of that last time. Um, but if not, then I, I have no idea how, how to fix it. I mean, I've I've run some tests. I've you know done this, and it, it seems to come through fine for me. Um, and, and and certain other people that have asked to kind of say, look, you know, stay, st stay on, and and uh, and tell me what you hear, and they just say, yeah, you're coming through both ears, so no idea. But anyway, we're continuing our uh, Chinese no tech playthrough. It's going to be good. I'm kind of wanting to maybe in this playthrough try and keep the peace a little bit for as long as we can, um, or at least try and challenge Japan in uh, in the South e Southeast Asia before it gets too late you know um, Formosa uh, is that that is Southeast Asia it's not it's not north is it yeah so yeah we've got Japan in here so if I can challenge them in, in Southeast Asia, we, uh, we we would be fine. Um, because we don't want to wait until aircraft become uh, a problematic thing that we have to consider, especially when our tech is um, is is going to be really low. Um, so yeah. It, it, it's a toss-up. <coughs> I mean, if, if, if Japan start to go belligerent in the next two years, I'm going to push it. Um, let's have a look at the Almanac and see what we might be going up against. Eight dreadnoughts, eight battlecruisers. So they double us in capital ships. They are building a carrier. They've got only one armoured cruiser being built. And they've got a fair selection of, of light cruisers. What about our submarine fleet? We've only got 14 subs in service. What? What are our, our submarines building? Wow! Did we did we lose a hell of a lot of subs? Holy shit! Ships under construction. So yeah, we'll have the budget back. But yeah, we're going to have to try and keep the peace for as as long as possible, really. Um, going forward, because we got these few kings coming out, you know, to replace our our aging Feitings. That yeah, you know, have have done pretty well. I mean, they're, they're all right, but in reality, we we have to 
we have to maybe just just balance the budget a little bit better and um, and 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 see how we're gonna. Yeah, how are we going to try and beat uh, beat Japan? Um, France are out, so yeah, we don't have to worry about France too much. Um, we we might be able to start working with them, and uh, and maybe get some technology. Um, what I might actually ask people to do is uh, we you know because we're stealing technology, and because we're building a lot of stuff in foreign yards. Is have a look at the technology, and try and figure out where these guys are in the in the tree. Because if we can figure out where Great Britain and and the USA are in the tech tree compared to each other, then that might help us progress um, down the tech lines of you know anti-submarine warfare and uh, and and battleships, and we can try and figure out where we're going to send uh, th th those ships to be built. Um, what we also will want to do, and uh, we'll have to have a look at aircraft types, our torpedo bomber is already seven years out of date. Yeah, we've got these Douglas Ducks, and we have no domestic aircraft capability so we are we're going to have to make us so we've got the, the Martin Buccaneer that we can buy that speed is is not bad it's terrible range but that's got a firepower of four so that might do us pretty well um, it can carry a medium bomb it is carrier trained so I'm, I'm, I am I'm gonna I'm gonna buy the US Martin Buccaneer. I'm going to buy a license for that before we we move forward. Uh, and everything else seems seems okay. Uh, we have oh, we've got some dive bombers already out as well. Good afternoon, Richard. Welcome to the show. Glad to see you. We're, we're trying to figure out how, how we're going to move forward and try and uh, keep the peace with everybody else while we're maybe poking Japan. Um, because if we leave Japan too late, they're going to become a little bit of a problem. Um, I don't think we'll be able to, to match up against their aircraft. Um, they're, they've got, their dive bombers are quite slow, the US. But their range is pretty damn good. And they can carry a good a good bomb load. What's 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 that? The, the Republic Sea Wolf. Better. Okay, that gets a bit of better speed. And it's got a fair amount of range, and it can carry a heavy bomb. Quite quite a heavier bomb. So I have to think about maybe buying a license for that. But the thing is, we've we've only got twenty twenty capacity air bases as well. Um, so yeah, I might um, I might I might buy I, I mean, oof, the Douglas Venture is slow but a better range ok, that's actually that's light range so 300 pound bomb over a 500 pound bomb for a dive bomber Ooh. we're gonna have to really check we're gonna have to really check like every year we're gonna have to see w see what's coming out and we're gonna have to spend a lot of money on on licenses for, for these planes um, I mean, even the 
even buying a license for it now. I don't think we've got even got the, the air capacity for it. Uh, okay, we've got camera and bay. Goodness, what 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 a what a terrible squadron that that looks like. Jesus, get get rid of that. Get rid of uh, disband disband those. That's terrible. We want a big wing of torpedo bombers. Uh, we will probably want change number. We'll have ten, ten of them. Change number. E equal it out a little bit. And then we'll uh, add add an air unit of uh, torpedo bombers. There we go. Yeah, first gen. Uh okay, let's have a look at the German one. Richard says we're, we're overlooking certain things. Uh, air groups, uh, aircraft types, uh, dive bomber. German. That's a Henschel. The Junkers. Okay. Max speed 140. Oh yeah, of course. But it's got a it's got a lower medium bomb. So, I mean, if we want a, a dive bomber to do damage, then a, t a 250 pound bomb. Okay. Uh, uh, I mean, I mean, this was the argument, um, Richards. You know, whether to go for a 500 pound bomb or a 300 pound bomb. So that was the argument. I, I mean, I, I was really just looking at the, at the bomb load. I mean, you're right for for sp you know, the speed is really good, you know, medium range, but it's got it's got a low, lower bomb capacity. Um, so that was that was the thing that we were we were looking out for. Um, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna pass on, on the dive bombers for a moment. I might I might go back at 1930 and 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 have a look. But without further ado, let's let's move forward because yeah, we spent uh, spent a good good 15 minutes on on review of the of the fleet and 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 what our mission for this video is 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 going to be all about. Uh, so yeah, nothing eventful. Um, we might put. Uh, those on medium so at least we get something uh, there's been an internal upheaval in North Korea Ooh. they should back down Japan backs down good yeah, we can't have them going into North Korea. Oh, 900 ton displacement. Well, we've got 1,300 ton displacements from uh, America, so I'm not so worried about that. Okay, Martin Buccaneer is ready for operational service. What we'll do is uh, we'll go to aircraft types. We'll make this uh, obsolete so people start to really concentrate on on the Buccaneers, you know, buy, buying a load of them. Uh, ooh, a five-year security agreement. Yes. This can benefit us both. Oh, brilliant. You buy a load of uh, planes from them, and the uh, mega American industrial complex says, you know what, we can make money out of these boys. Uh, Let's let's enter a treaty agreement. Unfortunately, that's fucked us for the budget, uh, quite quite a fair bit. Um, we'll we'll have these destroyers on on hold for a couple of months.
Top spies managed to get hold of the data for the Russian dive bomber, the Stukhoi. Yeah, 250 pound bomb. Combat radius of 250 nautical miles. Lovely. Uh, Simpsonhafen. Uh, no to all. What's it? What's uh, Simpsonhafen all about? Okay. Well, we'll add uh, ten ten fighters, and we'll add ten flying boats, and we'll go for twenty torpedo bombers. Excellent. Can we expand these? Uh, we don't need to go for Madagascar too much. Uh, let's go for uh, Northeast Asia. Tsingtao. Can we expand? Oh, we can. No, we haven't de developed them. We we just stole the bigger ones from France. We we did the scrapping last uh, last time, I think. Um, Yeah, maybe maybe we could. No, we'll, we'll have the fatings. The fatings are fine. You, uh, but scrapping some crap. Um, I mean, what's crap? That's that's the situation. What is actual crap uh, and what isn't? Um, I mean, we <laughs> I mean, these things are pretty rubbish now, considering they've only got 18 knots of speed. Yeah, they'll they'll be sitting ducks when it comes to fighting um, aircraft. But they are coal, so we'll have to maybe. I mean, uh, these things they'll be useful for another ten years if we. I mean, if we can get the speed up, send send them to America for for a refit or something. Yeah, get get everything on oil, then we might be okay. Um, but we, yeah, we are a little, little bit stuck for for budget. I mean, that security agreement, that really, I mean, that took forty, forty million out of the budget. Whew. The hood, okay. What's the hood? Fourteen inches, okay. Three and a half on the deck, twelve on the turrets, six and a half on the secondary turrets. They're using five inch secondaries. That's an interesting looking ship. Post war slump has hit the world economy. Ooh. Unexpected advances in shipboard aircraft operation enables larger seen plane carriers. Right, okay. Can we maybe enter an agreement with Great Britain now? Yeah, our ships are pretty crap. Yeah, all, all, yeah, all, all Chinese crap is, um, which is which is why we're having most of the stuff being built abroad. Uh, hell, may, maybe even Russia might want to help out and, and give us some technology. If what are, they, what are they? They are advanced, apparently. It's not often that you see Russia as an as an advanced technical development stance. I, I guess it's because they normally get knocked out quite early in the game. Um. France is very advanced, and and we're yeah the the Asian countries are, uh, are lagging behind. The German government is offering the sellers the rights to fire control, mechanical control, p computer. Uh, we do need it. Mine rails, okay. PL-72, okay. We've got 
Shanghai. We could probably Actually you know what? Let's get rid of the airships. That will save some money, right? Uh can, 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 how do we get rid of uh airship bases? Can can anyone remember? Build expand air force base, build expand airship base. I wonder. Uh air groups. That's the right, isn't it? No, that's not right. Hmm. No, again, it's, it's, it's not. Never mind, never mind. We'll just continue. Yeah, Bill, the old man with the abacus is retired maybe maybe not maybe going into semi retirement and and uh, going into uh, the south pacific islands and sitting there with that 14 inch battery uh, and doing it there um you know kind of claiming to the to the new hands that the old ways are still the best you know we've we've won a handful of wars with this with this abacus improves airship performance okay that's a good call, though, Stephen. Yeah, increase uh, the the. I mean, actually, now we've got we've got high spying already, mate. <laughs> on on Russia. I wish we could uh, just keep pressing pressing the plus, and then trick the AI into giving us more. Okay, so the Bruce de Bolo. A faster fighter. Okay, let's go very high. Let's just type in, super high. Sadly, it's not where we are at the moment. Is that going to keep it? Oh, oh, look at that. Super high. <laughs> yeah, we've got a super high intelligence uh, with, with Russia. There we go. Actually, is that, 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 might, that might break the game. <laughs> If we uh, come up with our own intelligence um, uh, names, I didn't know you could actually do that, but got, got a good laugh out of it at least. Ching Yuan. All right, let's get these uh, back on being built, shall we? At least, at least some of them. New destroyer fleet. The ISA. Actually, that that reminds me that of the um, I watched a video, good old Jingles with his uh, World of Warships. I mean, I don't necessarily play World of Warships all that often, but uh, yeah, I wonder if uh, one day on on this game you'll be able to do hybrid uh, carrier battleships. That that might be really fun. Click and delete Air Force Base. Base overview. Build expand. There is no real delete. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll be okay. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll save some. You, know, you never know, an airship might come in handy at some point. The French government is offering to sell us the rights to hull construction. Improved design calculations. Okay. Uh, it's, I mean, we'll take it, but it's, it's a bit pricey. Naval conference in London has agreed to raise the displacement of, uh, limit on light cruisers to 10,000 tons. Okay, just as our new cruisers have just been pushed out of berth. Naval superimposed turrets on armoured cruisers, good. A 
guess then maybe we could think about I mean these things are still useful these things are very useful I think especially for foreign stations so we, we really need to think about uh, I mean, we're, we are going through, yeah, we're going to have to spend the next two years going through an inordinate amount of um, refits. I mean, the Sioux still has a use, usefulness with those 14-inch guns, and we'll probably be able to squeeze maybe one, one or two more knots out of her by converting her to oil. Um, oh, good, an industrial increase still doesn't put us back to how we would like it especially with that agreement with, with the USA that might have really hampered our ability to build stuff you know I might have shot ourselves in the foot there hmm. I mean we're a year through it again already and we we really actually we're really starting to struggle Machinery development, forced uh, circulation. We will take it because it will improve our technology. Longitudinal framing, good. Yeah, we'll have a we'll have a couple of months before. I mean, still, I mean, that's going to take another year. We're going to have to wait another year for Yankee refits. Just so we've got some new destroyers. Actually, no, that's not, that's, that's going to hamper us even more. Uh, hold them. I'm going to have to hope for some kind of uh, boost in the economy, I think. Our prestige is doing really good, though. I, I, I'm quite impressed with the prestige hitting 50 at this point in the game it could all go downhill of course if we start losing um, you are asked in an interview which nation you see most likely as an, as an enemy uh, it is without a doubt Japan high strength alloyed steel hulls and that has helped the budget no end the parliament has decided to give us an extra 15 million pounds because of that. Oh, lovely. Oh, machinery development has come back to us again. Good. Finally figured out the workings of secondary turrets on dreadnoughts. Brilliant. How's our research looking? We've got 13 for machinery development. Anti-submarine warfare is still only at a 2. Oof. Ship design's at a 12. AP projectiles at a 6. Holy crap. Right. Let's resume these then. And then uh, once most of these destroyers are out, then we'll put the uh, dreadnoughts back in for a refit. The subs, yeah, we'll, we do need the technology. <laughs> we do. Unfortunately, we're going bankrupt, and uh, the unrest level is um, starting to creep up. I don't think uh, they much like the fact that our navy is no longer respected uh, and, and becoming obsolete. The Oprichnik. 10 4 inch dual purpose. 6,500 can go 31 knots. Wow. That's a very fast little cruiser. Improved hardening um, for armor? Yeah, I guess. No. Uh, we don't need it. You know what? I mean, we keep buying this technology and we're not going to be building any ships in our own yard. So. We'll just steal it. Thanks. It's 
Stereoscopic rangefinder. Is that a thing? I guess it would be. Oh, shell damage. Good. Now then, now then, now then. Do we want to refit the old... Um, wait a minute. What the deuce? What? What? Where did they go? They just... What? Oh, that ship sunk. Oh, God. I, I was... I was like, where, where's my battleships gone? <laughs> oh. oh, crikey. Whew. Okay, yeah. I, I was looking at our uh, navy and I was thinking, holy shit, where's... Where's all my capital ships gone? Um, a bit of a brain fart there. Now, is it worth... I mean, yes, I think it is worth refitting these. I think, I think it will be. I think it will be very much worth refitting the Sus. Or maybe we should go for the something sinkings, because they may, they may have a little bit more operational use. They are bigger and they have bigger guns. And they use five inch. Although these are a little bit better armoured. Hmm. Although they are faster. So I might... I mean maybe the Sioux are just... just uh, maybe the Sioux are just uh, becoming at the end of their actual operational service, which is a shame. So we either refit the something sinkings or completely build a new a, a new class of dreadnought. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna design a, a new a new battleship to be built in the USA. Get rid of the name first of all. Again, oh god, jeez. She's she's gonna have to replace. both of them. So let's start off at 42,000 and see what we can do with that. Oil, unit machinery. We could box her. Maybe put her as uh, like 14 on the belt. Conning tower of 12, we don't need a 13. Let's increase the guns. Do, do we need an aft center line? That is a question. Get rid of the undersides. Bill says we can't uh, afford a new ship right now. No, no, maybe you're right. But, I mean, one can dream. What about the torpedo defense on, on, on the Sioux, though, as well? We have to consider that. Yeah, when they were built, they only had torpedo defense of maybe one, if at all. So we do have to consider that. 
our aircraft are going to become a problem especially if we're going to fight Japan so do we want to lose or run the potential of losing the Sioux outright just because they can't take a torpedo here or shall we build something bigger that is going to be the operational cost so we can then just go into the into the 1930s with with a, with a better ship I mean that's that's the decision re here really. Um, I'm, uh, have have a think about it. I'm I'm going to start playing with with a new ship. Um, I I I I might not build it. I might not build it. But I mean I I appreciate your opinion on the fact that we could just refit the Sioux. But sixteen inch sixteen inch quality ones with that many guns does look sexy. Is the price of her up a little bit? Let's go. Let's go for yeah. Let's go forty-eight thousand. Let's have a. With 150 rounds. Oh, oh uh, maybe 140 rounds. Dual purpose. Turret tops. Maybe make them five. Maybe, hell, make maybe make them six to to help with plunging fire. Secondary support. No. Mm. Three, three and a half. No, three. Let's call it. Let's call it the Hainan. need to check out the mod I do I do I do need to check out that mod that, that you suggested Washington treaty never happened oh interesting I should go check it out five thousand a month she would be expensive she she might just be a pipe dream. Insufficient topside space. Okay. Oh, she doesn't she doesn't have AA directors. Oh fucking hell! Well, what's the point? What's the fucking point if you don't have AA directors? Enjoy your barbecue, Richard. Have a good one, mate. <laughs> Have to lay down four new battleships and or battle cruisers as well every year on that mod. That sounds insane. I mean, maybe a bit more historically accurate, I suppose. Pose, but I mean, Jesus Christ, yeah, okay. Okay, well, this is a big boy. We'll s we can squeeze out more three inch tertiaries. She's expensive. Oh, yeah, need to get rid of the threes then. 
The blast effects from the main battery turrets R, Y or V will reduce the rate of fire for non-casemated secondaries by 20%. The aft centre line. All right, so I guess I guess we could get rid of the aft centre line, but it, it is a good one. And she's she's just going to be a battleship killer. She's not really going to need to use the secondaries. Okay, I, I will. I'll. I'll Less torpedo protection than available technology allows. They have four? My god, they have a torpedo defense of four? Shit. What, the, what, the, what will that do to the weight? Can we make him 11? Maybe even 11 and a half? put the extra weight on. Sixteen six inch guns. That looks alright to me. We'll save it. We'll save that design. Oh shit. <laughs> uh, um uh, it's 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 an expensive ship, but Yeah, okay. We'll 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 do it. We'll build one. The full Nelsons, i.e. the HMS Nelson sixty thousand tons and nine eight inch guns. Wow. Holy crap. World economy is recovered after the crisis. Oh, that's good. Just in time for, for something to, to, to happen. Uh, international people in Norway. Germany is apparently um, international force, I think. Reluctantly recalls the expedition. Lovely. HA rain. Oh, nice, nice. Heavy AA focus. Right, well, that's pushed the budget up. So we might be able to afford to build one of these these Hainan ships, and we might even have the money to refit the Sus. The rune, Prince Adelbert, twenty nine knots. They start with four Yamatos. Holy shit! Sounds the right to machinery development. Um, we can develop it ourselves, Germany, you know. Right, okay, we're going to build one Hainan. We have the money. We can do it. It's going to take all of our budget, but. Uh, oh, the Bismarck Archipelago? Do we not own that? No, we don't, do we? Uh, light forces and torpedo warfare above water tubes on other ships oh shit no we don't have the money reliable delay fuses do we, do we not own the Bismarck Archipelago we do don't we <laughs> We have oil, ladies and gentlemen. Oil has been discovered. That's awesome. Yeah, okay, all of our budget is going into building a battleship. Uh, 
Maybe that was the wrong choice. The wind's low. What's she all about? Double, double turrets. That's pretty awesome. Uh, an African country uh, of a great colonial power ambitions. We need to send a, a force to evacuate our national. Uh, let's go send a a battleship. Holy shit! That's pushed things up with France and Germany, but it has improved our monthly balance. So, who's laughing now? Um, all right. If we can do that, we can then make sure one, at least one of the Sioux gets uh, gets refit. Let's open her up for a rebuild. Uh, let's put her in the USA. Replace those machinery. Put her in down at oil. Yeah, she's going to be so fucking slow, guys. Advanced director. 14 quality ones. 6 quality... Oh, they're only using quality zeros. Increased elevation. I'm not seeing how the Sioux are going to... Uh, yeah, she's got a torpedo defense of zero. I mean, we have to keep her. But, <laughs> holy shit. Director firing for secondary armaments. That will help. She's going to have to really bring it out the bag. Uh, we're going to maybe have to put tertiaries on her. Like 12 3 inch tertiaries. Packer full of. Oh shit. Of course, she needs the machinery. We can maybe squeeze an extra. Yeah, we can squeeze an extra knot out of her. She does need the machinery. I know the something sinking needs it as well. Surely, sure, surely. Twenty, twenty-eight. Okay, so, okay, we'll we'll leave the Sioux. We want the something sinkings. Or are, are we are we talking about the uh, the Sichuans? Because when I was looking at this, I'm um, designed for rebuild. Place machinery, oil. Fourteen quality ones. Oh god. Five inch directors. Haven't the money to give everyone new engines. Yeah, that is right. That is right. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> we're gonna have to. We're still gonna be using fucking coal ships in the 1930s. Oh, China, China, China. Somehow, somehow USA doesn't have. Okay, they do have turreted. Okay, we're gonna give them twelve. Try and have twenty-six and a few lights. Crikey! Now she wants to identify as a battleship. No. She wants to identify as a battleship for some reason. Is it 
prototype was identified as a battleship. Why? Why on earth is she wanting to be reclassified as a battleship? Cause is it because of the low speed? What have we <laughs> what have we done? Open design for a rebuild. Okay, we don't have the money to to but we but we can we can sure as hell make our oil and squeeze a hell of a lot of uh a lot more speed out of her and and AA guns but yeah I mean as you say we don't have the money Yeah, this is uh, this is tricky. Increased elevation. No, I mean you're saying she's slow, but I mean I I I, I if I even if I increase her speed. Ah. Uh. Holy shit. Yeah, I mean that's what I'm worried about as well, Bill. The fact that if we redo her and then reclassify her, she she's yeah, I mean she's not going to be the battle cruiser that we need her to be. So it's having the something sinkings stay battle cruisers, but not be redone, and then. 13 on the belt to, I mean, do we just do the Szechuan's? I mean, they're heavy, heavily armed, more heavily armoured. Two on the deck as opposed to 12 belt. Okay, we'll do the Szechuan's. We'll do the Szechuan's just so we've got something because I, I yeah I, I can't get rid of those uh, I, yeah I can't run the risk so what we're gonna have to do is replace the machinery oil fourteen quality ones but they've got less fucking rounds ah oh. Quality ones, director. But then she'll have no AAs. So <laughs> I think I've screwed myself building the Hainan. <laughs> I think I fucked myself big time. Um, we might have to put her on pause. You were right. You were right. I'm going to have to halt the construction, and we're going to have to. <laughs> oh this game this fucking game okay um Szechuan's are slower but newer so we're just gonna have to do the Sus open for a rebuild I will I'm just gonna replace the machinery I'm gonna have to, man. 
increased elevation directors on the 16s give them 12 tertiaries with a fair amount of, uh, of AA doesn't get any easier oh shit and the speed any torpedo defense. Oh, the, the trade-offs here are um, agonizing. Really agonizing. 17. Oh, shit. We've, we, we've, we've built ships that just don't compute with one another. I mean, health. It, like, we might, we might just have to leave them. We might just have to gamble. Hope, hope the Kachings can can make it out and just and just gamble. Just keep this building, and hell, even just rely on our uh, armored cruisers. I'm, I'm, yeah, I mean, I, I, I can't, I can't do it. We're just gonna have to build up a a sizable bank account, and and just push forward. There's no other way. We're just gonna have to try and keep the peace, and 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 uh, and and use these as um, as obsoletes. And hope, hope for the best that the um, that the that the uh, the international situation, as well as the bank, improves. And Bill's saying that uh, we're building ships with character. Well, <laughs> that's something, I guess. And we've got a light carrier. Paracop. 26 knots, 10,000 tons. Yeah, and everyone else is building carriers and China is just stuck. You kind of feel for China um, a little bit. You, you're kind of starting to see their situation where the entire world progresses and we're just going to have to steal everything. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, you, Bill, you're right. That's exactly what's happening. We're, we're, we're being stuck for budget and we're having to really make some tough decisions uh, in, in, in refitting old old ships. Um, but this thing, hopefully this thing will, will survive and, and live if we just get it out and then we'll have to then fight wars with really updated ships. I already know about the rune. A Faisaler. Okay, let's have a look at uh, aircraft types in the world then. Yeah, because even our fighter is getting a little touchy bit old. Curtis Commando. Terrible, terrible range. Look at these fucking things. Fucking hell. 
Great British de Havilland Demon D type can carry two sixty pound bombs. Less firepower than the Curtis. What's the Japanese Nakajima look like? Fast. Probably terrible range but with a firepower of four. Oof. Okay, well we'll wait. Revolt Vindicator, what's that? Twenty twenty six range. It's got more range. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, offering to sell us the rights to 20 inch guns. We don't need that. We don't need 20 inches. We don't want to. We don't want to fuck ourselves. A naval visit by Japan. Uh, we are impressed. We are happy. We're gonna have to push it. We're gonna have to push a war just to get an increased budget. Great Britain is sounding out about an alliance. That's an excellent idea. <laughs> um, shit. It's an excellent idea, Great Britain. But if we do, our budget will be fucked. You just found the pan. Yeah, wow. The giant panda. We could. If we build a monster, we'll call it the Giant Panda. We'll call it the Panda Express. 20 inches in coastal batteries, that would be a fun idea, Stephen, but a hell of a fucking sink in, in the. Yeah, it would just be a sink. It would just be a sink in the budget. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it's an excellent idea just for the fact that, yeah, we might be able to. get a treaty with Great Britain. Advances in whole construction and, and technology. So we've got Great Britain and America on side. And we've got two years of sitting with this uh, Hainan being a, a, a big old ball and chain. Tension between our ally the USA and Germany is rising. USA is asking for your support. It would be an honor write them a blank check wow wow okay then okay 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 we could be roped into a war against Germany again but with Great Britain and the USA in support and we could probably take Angola no, that's uh, Tanzania. The Danzig, what's that all about? Dual turrets, some nice tasty torpedoes on the side. Yeah, this, this game is hotting up again. We thought we might be going against Japan. But it looks like Germany might be be up there. Ah, capacity of 40 aircraft, excellent. Okay, what we'll do then is we'll probably want to. Okay, well that's come down very quickly. We'll have a think. We'll have a think about depending on which rises faster, Germany or Japan about where we want to stick our new air bases and and if we can afford them whole construction I mean we'll take it we'll take it medium bombers 15 inch quality we don't use 15 inches uh, although Russia thanks thanks for asking take it, although it will take another 10 months for to, to, to gain that back. Uh, 
20 millimeter automatic cannons improves light AA effectiveness good prestige is going up amazing amazing that we're over 50 okay we have the we have the budget now I mean Bill Bill is right I'm, I yeah, get have to replace the, the central firing on the battle cruiser. Um, oh shit! And the Nance is now obsolete. Maybe we should, maybe we should think about just doing the Nance. I'm designed for rebuild. She, oh shit! She's coal as well. Fuck. Oh god. Make it stop. She's coal as well. Oh ugh. She's got director. She's got say oh god. Alright. I'm resigned for a rebuild. We're gonna have to do it. We're gonna have to get improved director. And then she just wants to be a battleship again. I can't I can't do it, Bill. I can't do it, mate. I wish I could. What about if we send them to Great Britain instead? What would that do for the... Oh. Yeah. Oil. I have to. I have to put everything down to speed. She, she just wants to be called a battleship all the time. She has a narrow belt. We we know that. But I mean Jesus fucking Christ. These things are useless. I think they're just useless now. They're no, they're they're a burden to me. Going forward, they'll just be a burden. And we've and we've put, we're gonna have to build pocket pocket battleships. And we're gonna have to build a new line of battle cruisers. I don't know. My, my budget is terrible. I I don't know what to do. <laughs> Um, no, I, I can't keep buying technology. We don't have the money for it. Advanced director, increased elevation, directors, fives, fourteens. No, she has a narrow belt. Right. Okay, now we have to think. Now we have to really think. We can one probably get her to twenty six. Put some. AA guns on her. 12 lights. She has a narrow belt. We can. ones we don't. Ah, right. Now keep them in casemates, put them in ones. Bring that up a little to ten. 
three inch tertiary dual purpose bring that down a bit put 12 on up the ammunition maybe even squeeze an extra knot out of her no okay she's a little bit faster she's oil she's going to cost a lot of money <coughs> but we have no yeah okay let's do it okay an influential industrialist uh, offers to support an increase in the naval budget if you will place a larger share of the shipbuilding in his shipyards Um, prestige will go down but the budget will go up we, do, we need the budget corruption is here ladies and gents we need the budget uh, the Cosmo yep we got that medium range subs hey oh, now now it gives us medium range subs oh, what a piss take Our ship, the KM8, has been blown up in mysterious circumstances. Well, it was only a Corvette. It's Germany. This means war. Boom! It's probably Japan, but it now means war with Germany. They have a battle cruiser in the Indian Ocean. And nothing in Southeast Asia. Well,. Let's go. Let's go do it. Let's go kick their ass. Send a load of stuff to the Indian Ocean. Why can you not go? Oh shit. Oh, okay, now we'll be alright. We'll be alright for, for mobilization. Uh, we'll, we'll sit these guys in Southeast Asia. Um. Send the Nancy out over as well. Oh, she's short range. Oh shit. Let's move her back. Oh box. <laughs> shit. Never mind. Uh, we'll move the Foo Kings. Ocean as well. And our new destroyers can go as well. Test them out. But we'll be alright with the help from Great Britain and Germany. Take that German port in the Chinese area. Talking about if you're talking about uh, Catchu Bay, we, we've already taken that. But yeah, the only thing that we can really take is um, Tan Tanzania. Tanzaniki. Because yeah, Germany's got nothing left in the Pacific. <laughs> we've got it all. <laughs> Fuck it. We even got Polynesia. All right then. Uh, we'll take some armored cruisers with us as well. I tell you what, you, you can go to the Indian Ocean as well. And we'll send the the big old horses. Send the GGs. Let's go. Sing Tao. Yeah, 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 we've got it. It's it's ours. Right there. We have Singtel. We we took it a little while ago. 
Uh, okay, so we we can't look to invade. Or we could. We could make that an invasion target. Oh, no, I can't. Bugger. Okay, we'll have the uh, corvettes on trade protection. This could be a little little interesting one to see how Germany's recovered from that last war. So it begins. Senator Oswald has been heavily damaged. Wait, what? Okay, yeah, they're 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 blockaded. Good. We could pick up a nice easy uh, co colony in in uh, East Africa. We can we could pick up Tanzania. Awesome. Oh, that's in the local yard. Ah, oh. I could have swore we sent that to America. Fu Ching. Oh dear. And now they're not blockaded anymore. How come? Great Britain. One battleship, one battle cruiser. Surely. What have we got in the Indian Ocean now? We got a. Don't, don't tell me the Nants. Okay, the Nants stayed where it was, that's, which is fine. You need to move to the Indian Ocean. Yeah, it should pin them in. I'm not particularly worried. They they, they have a oh, they have a nice little juicy light carrier around. And yeah, they can't operate in Southeast Asia. So yeah, it's gonna be fun. Double reduction gears. Uh, no thanks. Uh, we are going to have to maybe put. Sounds silly, doesn't it? But we are going to have to put Northeast Asia. Anyone who's sitting around still in, in Northeast Asia on reserve to try and save some money. Um. Oh, maybe even put some in Southeast Asia on reserve as well. Because we are running out of cash. The enemy has sent out feelers of peace through neutral nations about negotiated peace without. Uh, no, we need, need to do it. Is it in Northeast Asia on reserve? Uh, air groups. Uh, move all to reserve. Sinsenge, Suarez, St. Jacques, Camran Bay, Tsingtao, move to reserve, Shanghai, move to reserve, Simpsonhafen, Simpsonhafen, okay, we've got Diego Suarez and Djibouti, is that the only thing? On Cameron Bacon, they, Southeast Asia can, can stay. 
uh, Tonkin High Farm. Move to reserve. Fort Bayard. Saratoga. Ooh. They've actually built a proper carrier. They're not blockaded anymore. USA, what, it's just not sending any any ships over? What, what's the deal, guys? What's, what's the deal? Cruiser action. What have we got? Sinking badly. A little bit of an outdated ship. But... Probably dangerous if we can keep her alive. Ship sighted. Okay. What do we got? What do we got working with this? It's light cruiser, accompanied by probably a battle cruiser. Go to squad max. A Freya. Now we've sunk a Freya before, haven't we? Although she's got 16 inch guns. And she can outrun us. Alright. Oh, middle turret already jammed. Go the line ahead. Uh, no. Yeah, let's try and keep the. Uh, oh, it's the destroyer. But at least the sinking can can run. Two destroyers save the sinking. See if we can get closer to the Freya. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, no. Cheated out of it. Cheated out of a fucking torpedo run. Oh, shit, she's, she's fucking lost a turret already. Twice. Okay, that was a bit of a loss for us. Something sinkings. <clears throat> yeah, we need to, we need new ships. We need new capitals. Hopefully the Hainan can do it. Yeah. Big win for Germany there off the coast of Madagascar. Puts her out in front. No. Get that prestige back. We can win this back. But the Freya is um, definitely a ship to uh, to be worried about. Additional war loan, good. Uh, uh, we can't buy anything off you quite just yet, mate. Enables carrier conversions of uh, light carriers.
It is. It, the vanity build <laughs> is looking kind of stupid now. Real stupid. And uh, as, as the entire fleet is slowly becoming obsolete. It is looking like a crazy vanity project but I mean that's that that's what governments do right they go after vanity projects in the hope that it'll, it'll make them look good and this thing needs a refit <laughs> This thing will need a refit in fucking eight months. Fucking hell. A convoy defense. Okay, yeah, the Freya's out again. She's out for out for blood. As it's seven oh five in the morning. Oh, that ship sighted. Well, the convoy's up here. Squad Max. Yeah, you're at line ahead. Squad Max. Take it to the limit. solution and stop dead in his tracks fuck the frayer is dangerous oh, just stop dead in its tracks fuck fucking hell did he get all of them oh no they were just picking up survivors Whew. those torpedoes for fuck's sakes I mean or is the water too choppy for you to do it he was right in front of you Have him right in front of you guys. Come on. Where's those fire? Where's that firing solution? Jeez. They keep going right in front of those destroyers' torpedo arcs, and they they're not firing. At least we can maybe pull back some uh, some victory points for getting the convoy where it wants to go, but. Ouch. German, I oh know, the British government is offering the rights to ten inch quality ones. Yeah, we'll take them. You cannot continue with high research priority for shipboard aircraft operation without an operational aircraft carrier. Okay. 
She's hit a mine in the Indian Ocean. Fuck. Uh, the, U the U.S. ship, the Minneapolis, has been sunk. need a carrier according to, to this um, but we, we, we have okay okay let's have a, let's have a little think they're sitting in Southeast Asia on reserve we had the Sioux and the Szechuans the Szechuans he more heavily armored aren't they yeah but they're slower um, Okay, well, well, we'll take the Nance for for a refit. Open her for a rebuild. Send her to uh, send her to Great Britain. Replace the machinery. Give her oil. Squeeze some. Stuff out of her. Quality ones. The ammo is going to be tight. Fucking hell. Give her eight. Ooh, ugly. It's really fucking ugly. No. Okay, increased elevation, of course, and a director. Ooh, fuck me. Slightly overweight and operational service. She's still going to have to be a. Sh she's still going to be a short range. Ooh, fucking hell. Hello, Danuke. How's that uh, compilation video going on, mate? Actually, we'll 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 reclassify her then as as a battleship going forward. Twenty-eight, twelve, hundred and ten. Yes, short range, just as a short range battleship. There you go. Fine. Too late. Too late to get rid of the torps. <laughs> okay, we've got the Fu King and the Ching Yuan out here. Guarding the Gulf of Aden. Trying to keep the Suez Canal open against German raiders. Two land targets. What over here? Oh, oh shit! They're very close. They are oil, so they can keep keep going fast. Maybe we might bump into them. Aha! Launch those torpedoes! You fucks. She didn't have any torpedoes, did she? She must have torpedoes. She was right there! She has to be sunk. She's, she's a menace. Her 
fire control is really good. Right, she has to be sunk. God, these guys can only go 22? Ah, oh, fuck. What's the fucking point? Shit. Another one bites the dust. Okay. Maybe maybe our aircraft and, and whoever's up in, in the British territory of Yemen can maybe help. Ooh. We might be able to sink her. You made you made the compilation video. You, you need to show it to me. You need to send me the link. Hell, send everyone send everyone the link if if you've posted it. Fuck it, let's just get you back to Djibouti. Fuck. Okay, that's two torpedo hits on on possibly the Freyer. Oh, did we sink? Oh, heavy damage. Heavy damage on the Freya. We couldn't sink her. Oh, that was the Hansa. Uh, the Dowers at Empress is sending out fearless for peace. We cannot show weakness now. Prestige will go up. I found that, that node wall. Fuck it. Cannot show weakness now. We're all, we've almost got the uh, Hainan out. Six months. Six months. Another six months. And then the Hainan will be out for business. Convoy defense again. Great Britain has helped. Great Britain sees that we're in trouble out, out here and has lent us the Amphion, nine six inch guns. That, what, what, how? It's uneven. Look at that. And the Phaeton. Phaeton class cruisers are uneven. They've got uneven torpedoes. And then look at looking at our silly little things. They look positively modern. Okay then. Uh, let's just form a nice little core. And Germany's got no. Sh oh, Germany did a raid and then didn't have any ships in the area at all. And oh, an additional war loan improves invasion capability. And we've sneaked ahead. 4,000. Okay, we're going to take this opportunity then to... Show it. We'll redo the Sous. We'll redo them. Open these bad boys for a rebuild. Or, we could build another Hainan. Let's, let's take the opportunity to build another Hainan. lol <laughs> fuck the old ships I can't I can't do them I can't I can't refit them oh latest Japanese improved 18 inch guns wow they've got improved 18 inch guns there is an uproar in USA over recent intelligence activities they have cancelled our alliance you just brought us into a war You just brought us into a war. USA. You're the ones who chose this war. And now we're stuck with it. <laughs> That's typical. That's typical of the US. Bringing people into a war and then just withdrawing troops. Absolutely typical.
coastal raid. The USA just brought us into a war and then buggered off. Okay, we might struggle now then. Maybe we should increase the amount of uh, planes in Diego Suarez. <laughs> they have. They've really shafted us. But we'll keep Britain on side. We'll keep Britain sweet. Okay, the, the two fleets haven't met. Wow, look at that. They're just like blockading. With the sands apart there. What do they have? They had one destroyer? Damn. Temporary setback in figuring out f forced lubrication. We've been at that for the last decade. Chen Hang has been hit. <laughs> oh dear. Three months until the Hainan is out. Three months. And then and then we can think about getting getting these guys refit. I'm still thinking that, you know, because these guys will be faster and they've got, I mean, less armor, but they'll be faster. I think operationally the Sioux might be a better bet than refitting the Szechuan's. I think we might have to let the Szechuans go. Okay, the something sinking is, is out, so we can move her back into the Indian Ocean. God bless her. More, more loans. They're just chucking money at this war like nobody's business. It's going to really fuck us when we're out. And we lost two destroyers. Okay, but we we can outlast them. Okay, that's out in the Indian Ocean. We'll send. Um, we'll rebuild that one. That's a good one, Bill. <laughs> stop telling them to stop forcing it. Just, just ease it in gently. Just be gentle. Oh shit! They lost a light carrier. Ooh, that's a setback. If that was our light carrier, that enemy victory points would have snuck up quite considerably. I'm glad we don't have any. Um, Germany have only got one armoured cruiser in the area. They've had to take things back. Shall we Shall we show overwhelming force in, in the Indian Ocean and maybe get a landing going? I think we, we probably could. And we've already got three capitals. Uh, let's bring some... Uh, more destroyers through. Yeah, you because know, that anti submarine warfare is killing us. And we also need to go to Madagascar. Yeah. 
expand. Oh, we don't have an airbase in Djibouti. Oh. Valuable insights into US technology for hull construction. And the Hainan is out. Considering off its safe passage of some renown. To, yeah, okay. Um, we should be careful. We should be. And we don't want it to become fascist. We'll take the prestige. Light forces in torpedo warfare. Oh, 1100 displacement. Cool. No. We need every hull built. Did I just, uh, I mean, build, 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 build. I know you say you're always, I know, I, I say this, I know you're always right, but I, I can't see how these things are going to be of any use. They're going to get torn to shreds. They're, they're, I mean, you say we need every hull, but if every hull was built in 1912 with, with substandard steel, Actually, yeah, you know, we could build a light carrier in, in Britain. You're right. Let's do it now. For fun. Let's build it in Great Britain. Auto design. 10,000 tons. Shall we call her the panda face? We could call her the, we could call her the sexual harassment panda. Twenty six knots seems seems about right. Thirty two capacity for aircraft, that seems about right. Got two catapults. She's they've got catapult tech. <laughs> they have catapult tech. Oh no they don't. Then why give it why give it to us then if they don't have catapult tech? Fuck's sakes. Cross deck fire? No. Can't do it. Um, more AA. What, extra speed? No, can't do extra speed. We could, uh, we could box her. No, that won't do anything. Inclined belt. And unit machinery. What's Chinese for uh, sexual harassment panda? Let's have a look. English to Chinese translate. Sexual because you know our, our uh, interns have um, We have oil now, Stephen. We don't need to worry about diesel. Yeah, that, that forced lubrication. Uh, yeah, the forced lubrication uh, guys. So it's got... Alright, okay. So apparently, according to Google Translate, it is the Jing... So Rao... Rao... Zhong Mao The Jing Xiao Rao Rao Zhong Mao The Sexual Harassment Panda There we go There we go Oh, 
some nice help with light forces in torpedo warfare. Ah, and a destroyer of 1500 tons. Good stuff. And the British keep losing ships. Really tough on the poor British. Got a convoy defence. The Ranger, what's the Ranger all about? 1924. The Kearsarge. Yeah, 16 inches. Right, okay. Daihatsu barges, cool. Oh, they, they lost a battle cruise. Wow. Okay, good. How much is it going to cost? We can afford it. Very expensive, though. Uh, oh, of course, we want the Hainan to actually move. I know she ah, she's still working up. Okay, we'll leave her. We'll leave her to be still working up. And Djibouti. Uh, torpedo bombers and 10. Yeah, okay. One of our agents has been caught in France. Make him a hero. The Danzig has been sunk. Good. Well, wow, we've been at this war for 19 months already? Let's move the Hainan to the Indian Ocean. We'll, we'll build we'll build a good few when uh, when the when the Nance is is out. Um, actually, we could probably design one now. Then let's let's do it. Let's let's give our shipbuilders something to do. Dual. F wow. Okay. Okay. She's certainly going to be built for running away. But I don't think we have. I don't think we have. Uh, double guns on destroyers yet, do we? Yeah, double mounts on destroyers uh, isn't happening. We could build them in uh, Great Britain, maybe. Yeah, we can build this in Great Britain, but not in a local, in a local yard. Maybe increase the tubes for fours. Yeah, improved director, increased elevation, dual purpose fours with a director. Get rid of those. Uh, she can have one light and an AI director. Have improved secondaries. There you go. She can't have torpedo reloads? Oh, come on. USA has torpedo reloads. Uh, she can. Ah, uh, oh, shit. So she could have torpedo reloads, but with no AA director. Okay, well, what we'll do then is we'll build her in America. And then as soon as she's finished, we'll put her over in Great Britain and put an AA director on her. She needs more ammo. She can have 180. Double mounts on... Ah. Okay, now we're going to have to send her to Great Britain. She has to have it. Save a bit of space. I don't know. Double guns just seems a little bit better, you know. I mean, we do need we need we need gunboats. 
Let's call it the Liu Kang. What about, what about normal? Ah, oh, no, she's going to have to be built for speed. Unit machinery. Bugs. Take down the ammo. Fine. Done. Study bees of enemy aircraft. Float plane. Fuck a wolf. Fine. Feisler. 300 pound bomb. 170. Oh yeah, we need to look at these aircraft, don't we? Five months for a, a, a light cruiser to be out. God, why didn't it sink? Build six. The budget will be fine. And then we've ended up again with three, four different types of destroyer. So we'll get rid of these old Su Chengs. got in the Indian Ocean at the moment. Two battleships, one battle cruiser, two Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Uh satisfies to machinery development, uh we'll take it. Uh we don't need that. We don't have eight inch guns. Although if we were going to build an armoured cruiser we could probably go for 8 inch. Uh, we'll take it. Because going forward we'll probably want an 8 inch heavy cruiser. Oh we've taken motor landing craft from France. The French are extremely upset. Air groups. Okay, we need to uh, think about. Uh, was it Saint Saint Jacques? No, that's the eight. Right. Okay, we'll have change the number to to twenty. Why do we not have flying boats? Do we not have flying boats? We do. Let's see. Let's uh, let's go for uh, and look for some torpedo bombers. The short fury. Got a better range. She can carry some good bombs. Maneuverability's alright, firepower's alright. Yeah, increased range, increased speed. I'm gonna I'm gonna buy the license for the short fury. Fighters. That Curtis Commando's still there. That flying boats. Gladiator. Yeah, we'll take it. Buy a license for that. As well. So our fighter is not very good. But at least we'll have a good reliability of torpedo bombers going forward. As as well as, as flying boats. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Whoops. Enemy coastal raid. Uh, OK. 
Okay, well, we know that they've got... I oh, know, they didn't have a battle cruiser in the area, did they? So, unless they brought one in, looks like we're going to be up against a, 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 an armoured cruiser somewhere. And we have the forces in Djibouti to find him now. Where is he? He's over here. What is he? Oh, he's just a destroyer. Oh no, it's just a... Okay. Let's try and catch him. Uh, gazelle. We've we've killed gazelles before. Try and catch up with the bastard. Come on. I'm not going to catch him, am I? Today, well, saying that, oh, he's disappeared, and he's popped up again. And torpedoes in the water? No. Lucky, lucky for that one. keeps popping up but he doesn't want to stick around too long to fight us that's unfortunate I would like to sink a ship in this war I don't uh, no I would like to sink something I don't want to be that partner in a war that just doesn't do anything you know like logistical support in the credits <laughs> but of course USA were the ones who dragged us into this war and they buggered off it says that they won that one another additional war loan this is going to really have us struggling if we keep up taking all these fucking loans. A large liner is sunk by a German sub with neutral nations not liking it. That's That helps. Unfortunately, France loves it, though. France loves the sinking of... Uh, cruise liners um. right so they're they're out they'll they'll be fine for the next few years or the kaching mm. Guess, I guess we'll take the opportunity to, to redo the Szechuans. Oh. All the Yang ways. Uh, the Szechuans. We'll go for the capital ships. Yeah, this this war loan is is exactly what government wanted. They either wanted the Szechuans or the Sioux. Um, let's remind ourselves. I mean, the, the, the Sioux look a bit more sexy, don't they? And I think they were. They were built in the USA. No torpedo defense, but faster. But the Szechuans are slower and have torpedo defense and look less sexy. So 
so the choice is yours people I, I will listen to you I, w I will listen to you this is uh, no longer a vanity project who's it going to be the Sioux or the Sichuans Better armoured, less sexy, with torpedo defence, less rounds per gun. What's replacing the machinery going to look like now? Building her in Great Britain gives her a bit more weight. She can get up to 22 knots, which is quite nice. Put him in dual purpose. Improves, yeah, improve secondaries. All right. Get some AA on her. Oh, can't she can't take that many? Let's take it down to twenty one knots. So she can have a bit more AA. And an AA director. She, she's all okay. Ammo is going to be on the low side though. Very low on ammo. Yeah, she'll keep she'll keep the same ammo loadout, and and just be 21 knots. Best I can do for it. Really, I mean, we'll give her more AA. Dirty. Speed and torps. Yeah, okay. We'll take her like that. We'll, we'll, we'll do her like that. We'll take both the Szechuans in. build them with that additional war loan. Okay. The Heinkel 118 combat radius of 380 nautical miles and a top speed of 114. Okay, the Short Fury is coming to service as has the, the Gladiator. Food is becoming scarce in China due to the sinkings of merchant ships Well, well. Two years this war has gone on. The USA ducked out after about a year. Is it just, I mean, is it still fighting that war? I don't think it is, is it? It's really not. It's just left us to it. Has he got anything coming in? What about South Africa? Okay. All right. Well, now, by yeah, now might be a good time to maybe call a break. Um, yeah, after that, you know, announcement of two years. Very slow war, though. Very slow. Um, it's unfortunate that we cannot reach 
the German holding here. Yeah. We're one of the four countries that has access to oil, which is nice. And uh, yeah, I think we've done all right so far, going into the 1930s. But yeah, go, go refill your cups of tea, like the video, and uh, we'll we'll see you uh, in in 10 minutes. But uh, whatever you do, enjoy yourself. Hopefully, I'll see you back for the next part.
Welcome back everybody. Thank you for sticking around. I've refilled my teacup and I'm ready to get back into some more action and I hope you are too. Now I was having to think while I was away. I should also say to you guys that the Armchair Dragoons, uh, not next weekend, but the weekend after, so that is uh, what, the 19th, so yeah, from the 19th to 21st, well, yeah, the evening of the 18th to through the 19th and the 20th, we're having a digital convention again. There's still tickets, um, still going. There are, there are five or a pop, five dollars, and that gets you access to a whole bunch of stuff. So you know we've got seminars going on. We've got a bunch of games, you know, ranging from you know Iron and Oak, uh, Bayonet and Tomahawk, uh, a couple of Kriegspiels going on. I'm, I'm going to be involved in one of them, and a whole whole range of, of, of war games uh, going on so if you know if you like to play your war games on tabletop simulator or what what have you or if you if you just like to watch um, some some interesting seminars uh, from uh, people who design games for a living then uh, ch check it out there's like I said there's some still tickets going I think there's over 200 uh, tickets sold already uh, and I'm, I'm gonna be there too in the chat on Discord and, and everything else, um, but yeah, go yeah, just go go check it out. Even if you're not going to buy it, um, yeah, just have a look and see what games are, are going on. So that's the Armchair Dragoons Digital Convention or ACDC for short. They had one earlier on in the year, uh, so that was in January, and uh, I, I played a good few games there. That was that was some really good fun. Uh, Back, back then but yeah they're doing their summer convention uh, now and uh, also tonight we're continuing our project catch a bra that uh, Jim or Cyrano as he's best known in the, in the streaming world is uh, continuing so that's going to be part three of our catch a bra uh, for Shaco 2 that's tonight at uh, 7 CST time so yeah if you've got time tune in for that or yeah, just catch it on YouTube at a later date, and uh, yeah, so that, that's that's my little little plugs that I'm doing for other people and other other things that I'm I'm involved in, which is you know all, all very nice, all very good. Um, let's continue with our with our war. So, what have we got under construction? We've got some Lu Kangs. I've only got an anti-submarine warfare of five, though. That's a little bit disappointing. And we've got the sexual harassment panda. She's going to be coming out in less than a year, which is nice. We're going to have to think about what we want to put on her. Uh, maybe need to maybe try and find some dive bombers. Maybe just stick a load of dive bombers on her. And we've got the uh, something sinking out in three months. That will clear up the budget for. Maybe a few more of these Lu Kangs to be built. Let's win this war. I like your attitude, Danuke. But Danuke, where where is this uh, compilation video? Is it is it on your channel? We've been neck and neck for the last two years with, with Germany. Yeah, we need to take the initiative and do something. Maybe maybe lend Great Britain a few capital ships. I don't know, but we need to somehow sneak ahead. The Poltava, or Poltava rather, 13 on the belt, 3.5 on the deck, 13 on the turrets, 16 inch. The Bort Hawk, okay. I think Germany's going to be surrendering though, uh, pretty pretty soon. Yeah, they'll have like a government change soon. Six more months of this. They'll give up. What do we got here? Oh, this is our raid. Okay. Coming out of Zanzibar. So 
we've got something sinking let's sort out that little division you're scouting for him and then we've got the Kachink, the Kapow and the Hainan. Ah, okay, so maybe we can get the Hainan to just come out and show us what she's made of. Run the cruise through uh, a little exercise. Uh, you want to say on scout, let's maybe put you... Are they independent? No. Make you part of uh, like a screening type of division. Uh, you can support, that's perfectly fine. Let's see what the Hainan can do as she swings past Tanger and shows the Germans just what the Chinese have been up to. Pretty much fresh out of those USA docks. She's just been, been painting things and making sure that all the uh, signs and everything were converted into Chinese on the ship back in Shanghai. Mulder Nuke, as soon as I'm done streaming, I'll, I'll, I'll watch it. It's going to be some good stuff. It'll be good good publicity for, for me. Th thank you very much. And, and a lot of others as, as well. How long's the video, Dunuk? Did, 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 did you make it as long as 20 minutes? Or did you even go in even longer? Who's it got featured? Okay, we've got, we've got this Corvette. Let's, let's knock him out. a little bit target practice for the Hainan. Enemy aircraft are approaching the battle division. Okay, that's not, that's not good. Oh, the Kachink the ka took a took a bomb hit. Three bomb hits! Wow. Luckily she's three on the deck and it didn't do a lot of damage. But she's, uh, she's got smoke coming out from the boilers. We'll pick up some survivors, why not? Oh, darkness falls. Oh, sorry. Oh, do you nuke? I thought you said you'd done it. I thought you said it was already up. Well, when it is up. Let me know. And if anyone's interested as well, I totally forgot. If you didn't see the video, uh, my Kriegspiel with uh, Hethwill and the rest of them has now ended. But I am starting my own. I'm, I'm going to be umpiring a a Kriegspiel. So it's going to be double blind. So we'll be swapping orders and stuff through through email, through through myself. If anyone's interested, I'd, I'd happily have you along. If you've never played a Kriegspiel before, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty fascinating stuff. And I'd, I'd love to have my, my regulars be, be involved in that. So if, if you're interested in playing a war game over email, yeah, like I said, let me know. <coughs> Maybe with this creek spiel that I'm going to be involved in for the uh, convention. Maybe I might be sneaky and try and... Uh, 
put that on put that on a stream. Which is why we need to get the Chinese playthrough finished before the convention. <coughs> now? I think they are. Airbase on oh, the airbase in Tanger is yeah uh, getting getting hit with bombs. lose a hell of a lot of aircraft. Yeah, so they lost a Corvette. They had a light cruiser in the area. Yeah. Where was it? Did they just take it back to port? I guess they did. Okay. Good chunk of victory points there. And an additional war loan. Wow. The Argonaut. They're building seaplane tenders. The Gala has been sunk. Okay. Additional war loan again. Shit. All this money. And all we're doing with it is just refitting. Okay, we'll uh, we'll take the Sioux, open her for a rebuild, send her to Great Britain. Place the machinery to oil. Can we get her up to 25, I wonder? Give her an advanced director, increased elevation, director on the secondaries. Are we going to be able hmm. I guess we just have to keep her at 21 and uh, give her, just give her a load of AA. Maybe stick some tertiaries on there for fun. Dual purpose ones, twelves. Oh, she could have quality fours. She, she could have four inch. Yeah, okay, we'll try that. Give her thirty two. Eight lights and an AA director. Give her a little bit more ammo. She's all okay. So she can be the same speed as the Szechuans, so they can keep in the same division. That'll work. Yeah, okay. We'll save that. There we go. Another cruiser action. Uh, British government is offering the rights for three inch quality ones. We'll take it. La Touche Treville. Eight, eight inch guns. Right, okay. French fighter called the Loire is out. Uh, we'll take the Sioux rebuilder. So we're still making a profit. Oh, no need to apologise, Danuke. Don't don't worry about that, man. I was just just curious to see it. That's all. Yeah, we all have stuff to do during the week. Flight plane scout, Fokker Wolf, okay. Don't need to worry about that. A Pungo has been sunk. It just keeps sinking corvettes over there. Why are they not sinking capital ships? Ah, oh, Great 
Britain. Do you, man? Just just do it in your own time, mate. I, I was just curious to see it because I I know you you were excited about it and it made me excited about it. In your own time is fine, honestly. Oh, they've got oh they've got a good selection of light cruisers over here. Germany has. Convoy attack. They don't want it. The army wants more resources to prepare for an offensive. Ah, is this... Is this tempting us into an invasion? Um, only the navy can win. God, they love these light forces in torpedo warfare, don't they? But Germany can't last much longer, but I do wish they would hang on for at least another year until the Sous are out and then because this this additional war loan nonsense is pushing us quite quite high on the naval budget luckily Japan doesn't have any carriers out but the USA already has four out and one being built and I guess Britain is uh, is building one as well, or at least kind of got it in a refit or something. Four light carriers. They got six light carriers that we need to be careful of. German dive bomber, the Fesla. Yeah. Okay. I think we already knew that one. The Yoshino. Suma, thirty-two knots. Eight and a half thousand tons. Hmm. Probably need to think about building some Corvettes as well. Let's design a new Corvette. She can have 5 inch. She doesn't have an ASW? Okay, she can just be a minesweeper then. Genuine number twos. Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, fuck it, we'll build them in the USA. Depth charges. So she won't have any minesweepers, we'll just, she'll just have depth charges. It's gonna be oil. Dual purpose. Improved director. Insufficient space. I guess. Can she have K guns? No, she can't. She's going to have. Tons of ammunition, but I mean, she doesn't really need to. I guess she can only go up to 25, isn't it? No, 24. So she'll be a fast little Corvette. Um, what about if we. Oh, a 1,400 ton Corvette. That doesn't actually look too bad. Maybe put some unit machinery on her, maybe some torpedo defence. Increased elevation. A big Corvette. Builder for colonial service. 
fuck, why not? Maybe what? Long range? Okay, this this okay, this is where it comes in. There we go, twenty knots then. Twenty knot, Corvette, Colonial Service. Depth charge. I think she's fine. Genuine number two. Good stuff. Might be a little bit expensive because they're big, but it might be worth it. Okay, we're going in for another raid. Just as the sun is rising above the horizon. She can't, well, she can't have any torps, otherwise she won't be a Corvette. I think that's a rule. I've, I've seen it, like, in, in the Discord, someone built, built a Corvette with torpedoes. But I, I tried it earlier, and it told me that if it was going to be a torpedo, then it wanted to make it a light cruiser or even a destroyer. So, I'd do it if I could. And I'd, I'd, I'd want to do it, because it would make our... Corvettes ever so dangerous, but the reality of the situation is the game doesn't doesn't want to give it to us. Even though I've seen someone design it before. Can you not? F you are firing at him, aren't you? You're not firing at that troop transport. Why not? Okay. Well, it looks like the British aircraft are going in there instead. Torpedo bombers. Alright. Uh -oh. Okay, well, we, 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 we got them. The British seem to be doing some great hits out of uh, Zanzibar, which is nice. Get the, get the squad up to squad max and get ourselves out of here, shall we? There's poor people in Tanga. Vickers Typhoons. Ooh. This, this is where it gets a little bit tricky when, you, when you've got aircraft like that, just blockading a, uh, a port. Which is why I'm kind of worried about going to war in Japan to try and uh, reclaim Taiwan. Because it's going to be really difficult if they've got those bases up and running really well. It's got no ships left at sea, wow. Some victory points there, which is nice. Uh, the enemy has sent out feelers through a neutral nations about negotiated peace without border changes. Continued operations. Ah, oh. peace mediated by France with no annexations. Okay, how much has that fucked us for budget? Wow. Wow. Not now. <laughs> Not now. Oof. Okay, 
what have we got in the Indian Ocean? We've got the capital ships. We'll take these guys. Take all the food kings, maybe except for one or two. Take uh, you lot. Take you. And that's that's all we can do. Uh, we're moving back to Southeast Asia, I guess. So we've got everyone going the same way yeah you love it you, you just love it when the AI gets involved like that yeah we, we, we were kind of pushing for, for maybe a, a colony taken over from from Germany but it, I mean it was uh we didn't lose any ships in that war I mean we might have lost a couple of destroyers but yeah we lost no capital ships so I mean I'm I can I can live with it. I can live with it. Uh but then we just yeah, we have to look under uh, ships under construction here and see see what's going to fuck us. Really? Um so we'll go one month get these guys back in Southeast Asia. Uh we like, we shot down 13 aircraft, most of them by by fighters. Some by light AA. Okay. Right, so that is that is all of our boys back. We'll put all on reserve, and we're still eating six thousand a month. Uh, although that's coming out in two months, so yeah, okay, we'll we'll continue. British armor development and machinery development, good. We, well, we need kind of guns, and we need anti-submarine warfare as well. He wants you to build at least 20 additional subs. We'll build half that number. He's not going to give us the money to do it though, is he? Fuck's sake. 12 subs need to be built. Build 12 subs. Okay, so we're back to 6,000. Oh, we lost. Oh, shit, we did lose a fair few subs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah. Must have at least 12 subs building. What well, we do? We do. Uh, get valuable insights into turrets and gun mountings, good. And the sexual harassment panda is easily surpassing her design speed. Well, at least she can get away then. Uh, no. No. So, make sure everything's on reserve. Yeah. So, that will save some money. So we're building those 12 subs, so that's okay. Uh, ships under construction. The second Hainan is coming out in a year, which will probably be put us in fair stead against Japan. And the Szechuan is coming. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll be right for budget. We'll be okay. Electronic computing power. Ooh. And everything goes up. Is it because we're building subs? They just they don't like they don't like it that we're building subs. Yeesh. Okay, well we'll we'll fix the budget a bit and halt construction on those guys. But we need the Hainan to, to come out. US government is offering to sell us the rights to armor development. Um, we'll take it. Superimposed X mounts 
from Russians. We'll take the tech. But yeah, we need to go through some kind of refit again, I think, soon. Yeah, that's, that's good. Yeah, okay, so we'll get... Okay. Re receiving much praise, good. Shantung. Fire control, secondary fire director. Um, seems like a. Just going to eat. No, can't do it. Sorry, mate. Too much. Uh, we'll resume that. British government is offering to sell the rights to machine new development. Uh, Three hundred and fifty psi's. Um, I can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do the budget. No. Okay, we're going to air groups for the sexual harassment panda. And. Okay. Let's go to reserve. Let's get. Um, flying boat. Actually, no. Uh, That is to reserve. What? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, we're getting the pay. I mean, our prestige is is excellent. Really good. Really nice prestige, which kind of helps with the budget too, I guess. But, but yeah, we need to figure out what the sexual harassment panda is going to do. Add an air unit. We're going to have um, 20 torpedoes and 12 fighters. Why not? There you go. Two months. British government is offering to sell the rights to armor development and advanced face hardening. Uh, seems like a reasonable price. AA effectiveness. Let's have a look at this AA effectiveness. Anti submarine warfare tech is still at two. We're still trying to figure out anything past anti subnets. Wow. Uh, improved ballistic. That's still stuck on a six. Wow. And subdivision and damage control is still on a three. Holy shit. Okay. Well, now we can put that to high because we have a carrier now, so we can do that. What type of name is that? Are you talking about the the carrier? Yeah, that's yeah the Jing Shirao Rao Jing Mao is the sexual harassment panda in Chinese. Improved homogeneous armor. Um, I mean, they're giving us better armor, which is fine, but uh, I, 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 slowly does it, you know. We need to get these capital ships out first. Uh, the French possession of Algeria. Um, such unpleasantries should not concern us. We're, we're done. We're done fighting France. We don't need to. Aha, an industrialist. We can improve the budget a bit at the cost of prestige. 
But you know what? Prestige is its own monetary value, so we'll do it. And you know what? We'll we'll have five grand, even six grand coming out soon. So, and then we can probably get the uh, the kaching redone. And then think about what we're going to do with all these old ships. Uh, how much is uh, the Chen Yuan number two? Three hundred, almost. Let's build. Let's build six of them. Just to have them out. They'll have an anti-submarine warfare of six. Um, big targets, though. Big targets. But they are built for uh, colonial service. So, uh, caught in France, make him a hero from a bit more prestige. Improved armor bracings, so weight savings. Don't need to worry about that. Uh, let's have a look at the aircraft types. So it's 1934 now. Let's have a look and see what fighters we've got uh, going. Uh, we can have the Vought Hawk or the Avro Goblin. Less, less max speed but more range. Certainly more firepower and maneuverable. We'll have the Goblin. Buy the license for the Goblin. And what about Torp? What about dive bombers? That looks like it's got a fair range. The Aero Comet. But again, using a 250 pound bomb. Oof. Sucks. Sucks not knowing what kind of shit you're buying. Ah, we'll take that because it will improve our armor penetration. Good. Air launch torpedoes. Oh, good. Nice. Nice. The Avro Goblin was everything we hoped for. Look at that. Did you see that? Okay, we'll make uh, the Vindicator obsolete and we'll look to buy we could probably go for a French torpedo bomber it's got a good range and it's got some firepower to boot it says that's got a heavy torpedo short fury I mean it's got good it's got great range their speed though, so it'll get there slower. Mm. Let's have a good selection of. Oh, the French really like their bombers. That's an excellent range. I might buy a French bomber. Can it carry torpedoes? No. But the Nakajima can. They built a medium bomber with a capability of torpedoes. And it's fast. Its range is probably less. So we're talking about maybe 300. We need to be wary of that. That their medium bombers can carry torpedoes. Anti-Chinese rebellion has broken out in Shanghai. Another round of fighting has broken out in the Balkans. <laughs> it seems deplorable that it is impossible to stop. Shanghai? Why the fuck would Shanghai be in rebellion? What the fuck? Right, let's 
let's take a look at this. Let's send these guys to, to Northeast Asia then. My goodness. Let's send the Kaching as well to to Northeast Asia. If Shanghai is in rebellion. As well as as well as that. Hell man, if we lose Shanghai, that's going to be terrible. I thought Shanghai was one, one of our, like, main things that you couldn't lose. Although I could be wrong. Um, Alright then. Alright. Let's get rid of... Um, Some of these, uh, oh, I mean, they're still useful though. That's that's the problem. Still useful these Su Chings and the Chin Sings. Very useful. We can turn them into like mine layers, like or even even mine sweepers. But yeah, we've got one, two, three, four, five different types. Of, uh, of destroyer now. Russian dive bomber. Okay. We already know what the Poltova is about, all about. We already know about that. Uh, what we could do is build another ship, another sexual harassment panda. Uh, yeah, we'll do that for now. Uh, what we need to do is we need to look up panda face. So panda face is the Zhang Mao Lian. Meaning Zhang Mao. Yeah, so the panda face. There we go. And we'll have the budget go up, and people will love us for it. And we've got those 12 subs commissioned, which is nice. The sexual harassment panda. Um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a name from uh, South Park. It's, it's a very old episode. It's like from like series one or two. Um, but yeah, so it's like uh, the, the song is like you know who sneaks beneath the willow trees, teaching sexual harassment to you and me. Sexual? Oh yeah, was it? Don't touch there. Don't say that. Sexual harassment, panda. And it's just yeah, it, it's a look it up. Look it up on YouTube. The, the sexual harassment panda song. But yeah, the. The Zhang Mao Lian is 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 Bill's Bill's uh, Bill's name because he discovered the the panda emoji on 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 the chat there. Shanghai has declared independence. What? What happened? Shanghai declared independence. Oh, how how shocking! 
It's become a free state. Ugh. 12 inch quality. No. We can do without those. Better steel quality. Yeah, we'll see if we can try and take it back, but fucking hell. I mean, maybe it will give us an option in a few years to take it back, but having that become independent like that is is a real shame. Okay, we need the Kaching and the uh, Kapal to maybe go in for refits now. I think that's probably a good idea. I'm designed for a rebuild. Send her to Great Britain. Shit, she still uses coal. Fuck. Uh, what we got here? Hainan is at 25 knot. So yeah, she's 25 too. Yeah, she's got 16 quality ones, 5 quality ones, 14 dual purpose quality ones, increased elevation, director, advanced director, she's got light AAs, she can have mediums now, and directors, light AAs seem to do pretty well, so I'm going to keep them on, she can have a lot more guns, Hell, if we take them to use DPs, five inch DPs. Not enough space for AA and equipment. Okay, we'll take the lights down. Perfect. Twenty four twelve. That's the Kaching. Good. Five inch dual purpose will definitely help with AA. Good. Done. Send her for a refit, both of them. Perfect. Whew. Okay. They lost one of those in the war. We we saw that. Advances in fire control, good. The Yokosuka Sharingiguka. Yokosuka Sharagiku. Sharagiku. Faster than our fastest fighter. Okay. And you think about light cruisers in a year as well. Some light cruisers. Government is concerned about tensions leading to war. You've been called to give advice. What do you do? Negotiate an agreement with the USA. Bring them back into the fold. Ugh. Great Britain goes up. You're building us a light carrier Britain. Don't don't be upset. US government is offering to sell us rights to armor development. Uh yeah, we'll take it. Base fuses. Ah, oh, sap ammo. Okay, good. Let's go to preferences. No. Uh Doctrine. Okay, so we'll have eleven inches plus take 60 AP and some sap ammo and 10 inches plus take some sap ammo as well save changes for that yeah target is an armoured cruiser ok yeah um, oh shit Oh shit, we want 
that to go back to AP. If it's at long range, maybe sap ammo would be better. Yeah, okay, we'll go sap for that. Long range, AP. Firing uh, seven inches, go for, uh, go for HE. Yeah, we'll do that. Yes, please. Uh, if a target is an armored cruiser, AP, HE, yeah. Switch that back. AP, AP, AP. Yeah, save changes. Target is a light cruiser. Uh, yeah, okay, that that will do. Yeah, fine. Um, what we could do actually, we could have the doctrine. We could have uh, torpedo warfare, or even night fighting. Elite pilot training. That'll do. Save changes. Close. Thirty-two knots. Yeah, everyone's everyone's light cruisers seem to be looking very modern compared to ours. Japan looking. Still got eight dreadnoughts, seven battle cruisers with three building. They've got one carrier now being built. Eek. Uh, reduced naval spending in favor of social programs. Uh, try to get the proposal watered down. Now nah, we're gonna have to protest. Diving shells, oh sweet. So what are we now? We are backwards. Very advanced, very advanced, very advanced, very advanced, very advanced, very advanced. Everyone's very advanced compared to us. Okay, we need to um, maybe think about have things on high. That's the problem. Do I do the channel art myself? I do. I do, Junyuk. I, I just go on to uh, canva.com. Oh, the the one um, in yeah. So the the one is it, it's it's an old an old artist. Um, I I I mean I I did I plagiarized I, I plagiarized that that uh, that shot. But um, it's I, I own a number of the artist's uh, prints, but he, he's. He, um, he, he, it's a little bit tragic, actually. Um, he, he was a good, he was a good little kind of local artist in in London, and uh, he did some really, really cool artwork, which I, I loved years ago. Um, and uh, unfortunately, I I believe he he died of uh, a heroin uh, overdose. Um, so I don't know. It's just just one of those things that happens. But I mean, with regards to the picture. I was like, well, I, I, I own it. I I own a few of his prints, and um, it just, you know, when I was creating the channel, it it seemed like a, a thing that you know, wherever he is, he probably wouldn't mind, and um, it just seemed like a good idea at the time. I mean, I might, I might change the the, the kind of the backgrounds, um, but it's it's just an interesting little. Um, picture. Um, he, he did. He did. He did a number of funny ones like that, and and some quite interesting uh, in in depth uh, ones. You know, where um, you know his his kind of guardian angel was a strawberry, um, and uh, yeah. But no, it's just my little. Yeah. What's the word? Um, uh, 
tribute. Tribute to the guy. You know? He was yeah. Yeah. I think I think maybe his old website is still somewhere in the deepest uh, depths of of the internet. Uh but uh I might yeah, I might I might I might show some stuff that's uh, still up. But yeah, it was just it just seemed like a good a nice idea at the time because yeah, when I was creating the channel I was like, Oh man, I wish I would have bought more of his prints when I had uh, had the opportunity because they were they were really really nice and interesting. Um Yeah. Poor dude. Don't do drugs, kids. Uh, okay, we've been. Uh, okay, we've got our Corvettes coming out, which is nice. Uh, a colonial crisis in Japan has arisen. You ask for recommendations. What is your advice? We need to safeguard our interests. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Everything's coming out, and our cruisers. very much behind Britain what is up with you do we do we need to build more ships I guess we can't I guess we can't go into Britain anymore can we no we're gonna have to get them built in the USA fuck design me a light cruiser 10,000 it wants to be 10,000 and a half that's too big Way too big. God, jeez, would you look at would you look at all these? Right, aft superimposed is fine. Forward center line, get get rid of that. Six inch quality, still using six inch quality zeros on those fucking. Oof, annoying. Four inch secondaries, dual purpose, fine. I think four AA directors is a bit too much, but if it wants to give us four, who am I to to judge? Unit machinery. Torpedo reloads. Uh, carry. She's not carrying any mines. Less torpedo armament than technology allows. All right. Can she be up to eleven thousand then? Eleven thousand tons with with one torpedo. Put her on an inclined belt. Eighty-three dual purpose twelves. Fourteen. How we could have sixteen. No. No, we can't. Yeah, we can. Sixteen dual purpose guns with a load of torps. Maybe even get rid of the J, J and K. She she doesn't she doesn't need both, I don't think. Give her a bit more ammo. Oh no. Give her eighteen. Maybe even a bit more. Fifteen, fine. Can we make a three and a half? No. Three. Deck two. Oh, we could squeeze. Turrets. Make them, make them a bit, a bit better. Turrets. Secondaries. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, we'll take them down to three and a half. 
even threes. I, okay, we'll do it. We'll do it like that. Yeah. All right. Done. Expensive, but I mean, we need a, we need a modern cruiser. Great Britain is asking for your support. What? Ah. Yes. Write them a blank check. <laughs> Good. We're supporting Britain. Against Germany again. Oh my goodness. Germany have a light cruiser, but we've got four just dicking about in, in the Indian Ocean. Are we, we're going to be making quite a lot of money for when these uh, cruisers come out. Which is nice. Okay, we've got these Corvettes coming out. Uh, Haifang, no worries. Alright. I'm going to take these to the Indian Ocean. One of your agents has been caught in Japan, make him a hero. Oh, that's an armoured. I wanted it to be a heavy cruiser, did it? Okay, fuck. I wanted it to be a heavy fucking cruiser. Shit. We built a heavy. <laughs> All right. She's a. She's on the lighter side of a fucking. Oh shit. Okay. Fine. We'll build two. Put two Nanchet. I didn't realise it wanted to be called a heavy. All right. We'll design a another. Um, light cruiser in Great Britain get rid of the forward center line <sighs> what, two and a half unit machinery Klein belt 32 knots, advanced director, just with more torpedoes I suppose. Um, get rid of a couple of armoured AA directors, 12 and 12, yeesh. Alright, that's a bit better. Alright. That'll do. Like a chink. Uh, she wants to build another Nan Chen. Um, thank him for the offer, but we can't do it. Not at that price. Uh, back our ally. Oh shit. Okay. Could call for an international peace conference. I don't. I don't think I'm ready to fight Japan. But it's probably now or never. Let's have a look at the ships that Japan has got. Apparently she's very advanced compared to us. Let's see what we, we would be up against. We have a Haruna here, 15 inch guns. So she can spit out the damage. We've got four of them. A Karima. 
Again, 15 inch guns. Congo with 14 inch guns. Okay, I'm fairly confident that we could beat that. Fuso 13 inch guns. Looks like she's been refit. 12 on the belt. What about her battle cruisers? Oh, that was the Okashima and the Haruna. Okay. Right. So, the battleships here. If we could, we could sink these fairly, fairly convincingly. Um, what about a Harugo? What about what have they got to answer for with with these heavy cruisers? Six ten inch. Yukumo with 12 9 inch. What about their little. Right. Hmm. A hell of a lot of destroyers, the Habiki. Uh, 5 inch guns. Right. Right. Let's have a look. Um, oh shit. Let's have a look at the aircraft. Naval aircraft in operation. What would be? Yeah, it'd be like a two and a half to one situation, and they've got the same amount of subs, same amount of corvettes. Great Britain will have some stuff in in Hong Kong, right? So we can we can do that. Just gonna gotta hope that uh, Great Britain doesn't back out of the war. Um, yes, those carriers that would be really tricky with Japan real tricky and they have a good budget I'm not I'm not overly confident that we can beat Japan without some serious serious consequences. Um an international peace conference might be interesting to maybe bias a little bit more time. Start almost start from the starting block with respect to some ships out there. We're not building any Hainans or capital ships or any building armored cruisers. Our light cruiser force is quite obsolete. An international peace conference would take the tension down, run the risk of some kind of Im uh, um, treaty, but it would bring the tension down. It might buy us a few more months. I'm going to go for a treaty. Ah, there we go. A naval arms Im imitation treaty has been agreed by all major nations. No ships more than 12,000 tons of displacements may be built, and the main caliber of guns are restricted to a maximum of 10 inches. For 17 years, Germany has scrapped the following ships. Great Britain has scrapped the following ships, including a few 
heavy cruisers but surely she wasn't building cruisers with 11 inches France has been forced to scrap them Russia has been forced to scrap a carrier I guess it was over over the amount of tonnage USA has been forced to comply got, get, got oh we've really screwed people over Japan has been forced to get rid of them and uh, we haven't been forced to do anything so that kind of plays into our hands a little bit that does play into our hands ever, ever so slightly because we didn't have to scrap anything and we've got like, these light heavy cruisers being built instead how useful they'll be I don't know but it has it has bought us some time it's brought the the heat down a bit take what you will take what you will from that decision I don't think we did so bad really um, might give us a chance to get rid of these destroyers and, and build a load more but because I mean our destroyer force is a little wanting choices 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 could probably get rid of these yang ways as well although they are pretty damn good I mean they're not they're not so bad uh what have we got? One month until the sexual harassment panda class is out again. Uh, maybe, yeah, we have the money for aircraft types. Let's try and go for dive bombers. Uh, Russian, we're going to have to go for French. French dive bomber. Oh, 500 pounds. Yeah, alright. Buy the license. Prestige suffers, but we can put a load on on that light carrier. Uh, a stronger navy. No. We'll build some. Or three. She's like, oh, did she had mines? Shit, she had mines. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, never mind. Never mind. Uh, the ambassador from Great Britain has approached the Minister of the Navy with the suggestion that we curb our naval program in the interest of peace and stability. What answer do you recommend? Um, Reduction in tensions would be welcome. I mean, you're our ally. Yeah, we'll reduce the Navy uni unilaterally. The Solomon Conference concluded with no concrete results. Well, we've already got a treaty in place, so we'll be all right for that one. Okay, so we have the uh, the Panda Face. We'll trade the torpedo bombers for um, move them to reserve. We'll have the dive bombers in. Twenty of them. So I have one carrying torpedoes, one carrying uh, These, it's these things. It's these things that we need to just auto add. Just auto add aircraft. Fuck it. There we go. There you go. Apparently, the tension's gone up. They revoke our alliance due to recent disagreements between our nations. We had no disagreements, we were fine. 
Yeah, that's that's that fucking thing. That's that Luari. Oh fuck it, yeah, go on in. With the threat of Germany rising, the parties managed to pass the bill, but it was only rising because of Britain poking them. Formation of French flying boats across the Atlantic. Impressive feat. No, we'll just do that. An impressive feat from the French. Welcome back, Bill. Um, unfortunately, we, we lost Shanghai due to a rebellion. We might be able to take it back. I was surprised as, as anyone else to see it go. I thought it was part of our um, main force, but it's turned itself into a, into a uh, neutral trade republic by the looks of things. You know, shit happens. Uh, fire control, ladder shooting, we'll take it. Thanks, France. International air race, uh, absolutely. Japan won, okay. Yeah, let's go do uh, aircraft types now. Let's see what we need to buy. A torpedo bomber would be nice if we can buy the license for it. Uh, what else we got? What would we do we want to buy French instead? We're gonna have better range. That's got again. It's probably got better firepower. Mm, if we went for a, a Great Britain license, it would only be a marginal max speed increase. Probably for 225 range, maybe. I think maybe our torpedo bombers are all right. What about fighters? Got the uh, the Goblin, which apparently is still pretty damn good. But 1936 has had a bit of a jump with the German Junkers. It's a damn good max speed, but I'm wondering what its range might be. Less firepower. Um, has anyone else gone for the whole kind of torpedoes on a medium bomber, like Japan did? No one has. Yes, yes, having to suck up to the French is um, a bit of a disappointment. But we have had a nice little uh, refit of, of all our capital ships in the last few years. So that will keep us going for a while. It's just our cruiser force is a bit lacking. And um, we've made some mistakes with, with regards to designing some stuff. Uh, they're probably just doing annual manoeuvres, don't worry about it. Yeah, be fine. We don't need to go to war with Germany again. Not when Great Britain isn't blocking them. Slender hull girders. Does, does, does your missus have a slender girder? I, I mean, psh. Uh, no, Russia's okay. Um, and even if they are a little bit angry, they've only got one battle cruiser. I, I, you know, we could we could take the our eyes off them, and, and we'd be we'd be fine. But it's just Japan. You know. I mean, they've had to scrap a bunch of stuff, which has gone in our favour. But we have to we have to watch out for stuff. Oh, development. Um, no, nah, we'll be okay. Uh, what, what we 
can do another year okay so we'll have to these things are going to be useless um, so we'll halt construction of them the Keiko oh dangerous 12 10 inch 14 5 inch dual purpose wow Vidyats yep you've gone for 8 inch we might I mean if we can keep the piece we might just go for like a prestige victory rather than anything else but one of these guys is, is going to push itself up ah oh, collision with Russia oh clumsy Russia ok we'll zoom, zoom that for a little bit at least get one out concern that our forces in Northeast Asia are insufficient oh. France is sounding off about an alliance um, we'll be stronger alone we, st we still have our reservations about France depth charges, nice we still have our reservations about these guys uh, what we can do is go to Northeast Asia and uh, expand the air bases we need to do that Let's not forget about that. Hmm. Wow. More more money because of Germany. Five year security arrangement between our nations. Um Uh, we'll seek uh, a broader arrangement with the international community except for Japan aha uh -huh, there we go I called it <laughs> everything goes down but Japan stays where it is if I was going to go to war with anyone it would have to be Japan um, but apparently they don't have enough people around the place in the Northeast Asia I think it's fine I think it's okay but apparently the the Empress is a little bit upset so we'll take a handful of what we do have and we'll move them up to Northeast Asia there we go no. a spy from Great Britain has been discovered what do we do handle it quietly please let's not poke the bear Air groups, right. Wen Chao, okay. Uh, let's go for torpedo bombers. Just 10, just 10. And then we'll have some fighters because we know they have medium bombers in Japan. We know they have them. So we definitely need to face off against that. Cameron Bay what is going on twenty how about that change number to ten ten there we go oh you're just you're just refitting okay aircraft and carrier capable units exceeds capacity for training facilities no fuck that fuck that 
Light of the Nair. Improves airship performance. Good. What we'll do is... Again, these things are going to be useless. So let's just halt construction for a few months. Government is considering making some symbolic concessions. We should not consider any concessions with Japan. What are you talking about? One of our main minor allies in Southeast Asia is threatened by a neighbor. It's back here unconditionally. Pushes people up to start hating us again. Why? You'd, you'd back your neighbor if you would. If you could, rather. Why? Our light cruisers cost more than our heavies. Disappointing. Ah, light cruisers somewhat overweight. Balls. We'll resume that one then. Aha, uh -huh, the US Navy is now at radar. Okay. Sumatra. Ah, okay. Sumatra. It'll piss other people off, but you know what? Sumatra is. is is in our doorstep, it's in our sphere of influence. Someone must shoulder the burden. Yes! Yes! Tien Tien, no. Lovely. Does it have oil? It has oil too. Nice. Brilliant. Absolutely amazing. Right, Japan has six destroyers in the area. We've got nine light cruisers. I think we'll be fine up here against, yeah. It's those, maybe, oh, maybe those light cruisers could, uh, could get involved. Uh, okay, they're new. They're, yeah, they're in Northeast Asia. They're fine. Just a load of obsolete shite hmm. just a lot of obsolete shite uh, we're gonna build we're gonna build some more corvettes because we know we're gonna need them yeah bring the tension down with the USA a bit say look USA guys Japan is getting a bit belligerent see how that helps. Japan has sent an ultimatum and unless we back down it will likely be war. We're ready. We're ready for them. It's war with Japan. We're going to mobilize everything and see how that does. Yes please. Okay. We can afford. We can afford this. We can afford this. Alright. All right, all of our light cruisers are outdated. Most of our destroyers are outdated, but so are theirs. So are their ships. Let's have, let's remind ourselves, ready for the next video, because it is coming up to five o'clock, about what we'll be facing. So let's have a look at the Almanac first of all. They outnumber us two to one with aircraft, which isn't so bad. I mean, we can we can shoot down at a ratio of two to one. I'm sure. They've got the same amount of subs, double the amount of corvettes, which might be ever so slightly worrying. A um, little bit, yeah, okay. A little bit more destroyers. Same amount of light cruisers. 
in active service only six heavy cruisers which is nice because we've only got four on active we've got two light carriers now they've got nine but if we get rid of some of those carriers we'll be, we'll be alright we've got two battle cruisers and they've got seven and we've got eight dreadnoughts or battleships in service and they've got eight which is nice. We might. We. They, I mean, the fact that we called that disarmament conference. I mean, that played into our hands. I think. I think that was a smart move because if you remember, they were building a hell of a lot of modern ships, which they're not doing anymore. So we may be able to shut them down because they've got a 1927 Okinawa Shima. 15 inch guns. They've got a few of those. They've got a Karuma, again 15 inch. And then you go down to their dreadnoughts or their battleships, and they're using 13 inch guns. We, I think we can sink these fairly convincingly. Um, they've got one with 14 inch guns as well, 22 knots, 10 on the belt. I think I think we'll be all right. Um, we're probably going to drop some points on our cruiser actions because yeah, you know, they've got those nine-inch uh, armored cruisers. Yeah, you know, ours use ten inches. Um, they're light, lighter armored, but fine, fine, fine. I mean, they've got these buildings. Um, their light cruiser force is fairly modern compared to ours, certainly. Fast enough. I think we're in good I think we're in good in good shape. I think I think we'll be in for a good fight. And and then if we win, we might be able to take over Taiwan, you know? So yeah, I, I'm 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 confident and you know, coming up to to the hour of five o'clock. I think it's probably a good idea to maybe call the video here, but before we do, let's make sure we put everything on trade protection. It will help, believe me. Hopefully our destroyers, especially the old ones, can pull through. Um, uh, and our light cruisers, well, they'll ju they'll just have to hang tough. And as soon as we destroy some of those old dreadnoughts, which I I think I think we'd be in a good position to do. We uh, we should we should be in a convincing situation. I mean, obviously they have 50 destroyers that we have to contend with. And um, and they'll probably be blowing our submarines out of the water pretty easily, which is something that we need to uh, contend with. So what we're going to do, <laughs> we're going to start building some subs. Probably a good idea. Our uh, aircraft types going forward some of them a little bit out of date admittedly our dive bombers are okay um, yeah I mean this, this thing takes a heavy torpedo I think they'll be fine I think they'll be all right let me know what you think in the comments as always and um, We'll have to see you on the next one, um, where, I mean, to be honest, we, we might just come back tomorrow, um, because I did say, you know, when we've got the 19th coming up, is, is going to be the convention, so we won't be able to finish it then, and we might be in a tight spot, so yeah, we, yeah, we'll come back tomorrow, we'll come back tomorrow, and, and, and see how this war with Japan will, will go, 
um, at least. And uh, yeah, um, but as always, thank you everyone for, for watching. And um, if you can make tomorrow, that will be really uh, excellent to, to have you all again. And uh, yeah, I'm saluting out. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday, people. And uh, Danuke, I look forward to seeing the compilation video whenever you finish it, mate. Alright, take it easy, everybody. See you then.